Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com, and today we're answering your questions all about mitral regurgitation and stroke. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Michael Acker, who is the Chief of Cardiovascular Surgery at Penn Medicine in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. During his extraordinary career, Dr. Acker has performed over 9,000 cardiac procedures with more than 3,000 involving heart valve repairs and heart valve replacements. Dr. Acker, it is great to see you again, and thanks for being with us today. Always good to see you, Adam. Yeah, Dr. Acker, as you know, we're answering patient questions today, and this one comes in from Michael. He asks, I am diagnosed with moderate to severe mitral regurgitation. I recently had a stroke while on a bike and crashed. The most of obvious causes of stroke have been eliminated. AFib, atrial fibrillation, is a consideration, but not proven at this point. Can mitral regurgitation cause a stroke? Well, Adam, I I don't believe mitral regurgitation directly causes strokes, but the disease that's causing the MR, degenerative mitral valve disease, can be associated with not only atrial fibrillation, but more concerning arrhythmias such as ventricular tachycardia. Ventricular tachycardia can cause times of loss of consciousness, which could have been associated with his uh, bike crash. So yeah, no question he should seek a cardiologist, look into the MR, don't ignore it, and also figure out what um, arrhythmias he might be having. Michael, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me. And Dr. Acker, as always, thanks for taking time away from your very busy practice there at Penn Medicine in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and being with us today. Thanks so much. Well, thank you, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.